hello everyone so welcome to this interview series many of you asked me a lot of times to make some videos on masters in data science in netherlands so here i have with me satyaki malik from india and he's currently finishing his first year in masters in data science in tu eindhoven netherlands and he also got a full scholarship to study his masters we'll also talk about that in the video so let's go to satyaki and then we can uh, maybe he can give a brief introduction like where is he from what is his education work background and then we can proceed with the interview hey guys welcome so i'm satyaki mallik and i am doing masters uh, in data science in tue and uh, so to start i did my bachelor's in west bengal in in bardwan university and i'm originally very live very near to kolkata which is uh, my hometown is like 50 kilometers from kolkata it's uh, it's called uh, chandannagar maybe some of you might know about it and i did my bachelor's from um, uh, bardwan university which which was not on computer science it might be more interesting for you guys to know it was on electronics and uh, yeah and then from there on campus i uh, huawei came to our campus for an interview and i sat for that i got the job and uh, then i shifted to bangalore and in huawei i worked for about uh, to two and a half years not half maybe two two years and three months more and then uh, i shifted to a, a startup so uh, the the so the reason i wanted is because it's a bit little bit more interesting in the startup and huawei the work i was kind of getting boring and so i thought uh, we'll get some new experience that way and uh, that's the reason i shifted to a startup and there i worked for nine more months and then in july of 2019 um yeah and i i shifted here on 28 july i feel so that that's uh, what the timeline was so if you calculate all of that it was three years of work experience and um yeah that's it yeah <laughs> okay okay so yeah was there any specific reason why you chose to come to netherlands for data science or oh. what was your thought like oh not not really so to be honest i hardly knew much about uh, netherlands and even my neighbor neighbors and friends you know much because germany is super famous of for masters and they have free masters so that's then people like that a lot but uh the netherlands but when i was uh going through the rankings i saw tue and tu delft which were ranked pretty good it was tue was 99 and delft was around 50 back then and that was interesting and i was not sure if i'll apply for it but then i had a senior who who did the eit digital program in which his uh i think his second year was tue and first year was kth uh sweden um so and one of my friend was also a uh, 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 eth student and i knew my friend directly but my friend knew that senior so uh, my friend never was never a student in tue he did it in kths in berlin uh, but he knew that guy who was in tue and that's the reason i kind of had a connection like it was not completely random so i asked a, a bit more about him and his first um, suggestion was not to go to tv because it's super hard i mean it's a lot of effort nothing is hard you just put need to put more effort and he suggested not to do that because he felt kth was much more relaxed than tv uh, and very surprisingly i got a full scholarship in tv <laughs> and um, so apart from that i also applied in chamers and kth and uh, the it digital program and a few couple of us universities uh in kths i didn't get an admit in chamers i got a 50% scholarship i think um in uh, in eit i didn't get an admit which is very surprising and uh in in germany i didn't get an admit in i applied in two munich and berlin which are really good and i didn't get in any one of them uh the main reason being my bachelor's for electronics and they 
don't allow switching. I saw this in uh, Germany very specifically, rather than other countries, that Germany's, Germany do not accept uh, switching uh, majors at, at all. So then, then TUE was an obvious option because I have full scholarship. Uh, so scholarship, uh, yeah, so that's the reason I, I uh, like this became an obvious choice. And I also was not willing to go to US because um, it's much more costly there. And all the programs are, how do you call it? Um, nine months, 11, like very short programs. So yeah. I was not interested in, in doing uh, that kind of program. Yeah, so that, that's okay. the reason. I think this uh, details will be really helpful because people who are watching this, I know like they are also applying for different universities in Europe. So they will have a pretty good idea like what factors they should consider when uh, making a choice if they want to study in data science. And uh, one clarification I just wanted to know like uh, the EIT program that you mentioned, is it like the Erasmus exchange program no, where no, you do no, one no. year masters and... No. Okay. Um, uh, it's different. It's uh, it's a more of a entrepreneurship program, and it's pretty popular in um, in, uh, in 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 Europe. So what they do is they have collaborations with universities, and they kind of set you up for jobs as well. So um, yeah, like they will make you contacts for, with different companies. They have a lot of contacts. So generally. Uh, people who are following that program gets placed very soon. That's what I heard. I never experienced. Uh, I have a friend who who is in a really good place right now. Uh, I don't know if it's because of EIT or it was because of his own effort because he did put a lot of effort. I probably I don't think it's because of EIT, but what he has done and it is possible here. I think it's very difficult in India. It is possible here, is that um, in first year he he is an EIT student. In first year, his first year is in TU, TUE. His second year is, um, uh, I, don't know. Uh, I think, I think it's KTH or or maybe some 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 place in Germany. I don't remember. So he did uh, the first year with me. So I know him from from our classes. And now he got a research position, re researching position in CERN. You know, uh, the CERN, the research. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Large Hadron Collider. Exactly. That that is, and they are praising, they are paying him crazy amount of money. It's in Switzerland, so it's already more money. And so what he did, he talked with his EIT supervisors. He he said that I will not study for one year. So for one year, he shifted to Switzerland, and then he will continue. Uh, this work, like this is a one-year contract, and then he will come back and do his second year of master, which is insane by Indian standards because it doesn't happen there. You don't see it. But here, uh, he is definitely doing that. And he is, he is not an Indian, first of all. He is from Poland. And uh, he, he did his master, uh, bachelor's also from a Poland university. So generally, we don't know much about Poland. So like as far as I know, I don't think it's very popular internationally. Maybe it's popular in the country, but it was nothing too fancy. But he's like he has been applying for in CERN since 2016, and now he got it. So it could be that he is really, um, yeah, he is really persistent and consistent with his application. So it, and there was no interview. What I heard, they just uh, every last four years they rejected. This year, uh, yeah, yeah, fine. Hey, come come down to the office. That was how it worked for me. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, thank you very much for this informative uh, set of information, like uh, how someone can decide uh, whether which type of data science program they should choose, what can fit depending on your profile, and which European countries you can consider. So in the next part of the video, we are going to discuss in details about uh, what was the experience till now from Satyaki in his uh, first year data science in engineering in TU Eindhoven, Netherlands. So till next video, don't forget to smash the like button, share this video with all your friends, subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet, and goodbye from Netherlands.